to those who live it. Punk rock is something more. It is a conversation with society. San Francisco, I think at one point, is probably the strongest scene in America. All of a sudden, like, all these bands just start popping out. The bands that we were excited about were our East Bay bands. It had an important place in the pantheon of punk. It was about playing honest music. Like, it wasn't hard like, like punk rock was supposed to be. It wasn't always about the band that was playing on stage. It was equally about what was happening in the audience. The punk rock club opened up in my neighborhood. I jumped on a bus the next day and I headed back home. People remember it as being a starting point to the East Bay scene. Gilman Street, you had a co-op. You didn't have any of that in L.A. Nobody trusted anybody. It was a great hub for all the bands to go to. This was what was going to be it for another generation. So we string everywhere in the room. It was just a lot of mocking, and I was just like, this place sounds pretty rad. <laughs> Punk was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's an underground punk scene. It's meant to thrive in this environment. You know, when I stopped to think about it now, it was a precious time. Looking back, I brought my life and the place. People can create their own culture. You don't have to wait. You can say, hey, I got something to say, and I'm going to say it. It ended up revitalizing a scene and, and keeping something alive. Punk rock isn't a sound. It's doing something you're afraid of doing. That's the East Bay sound. Turn it around, the story of East Bay punk. Anarchy night every night of the year. Anarchy night every night of the year. Yeah.